creating and managing user account in Windows Server 2016 at Trinity Domain. The process of creating user account in Windows Servers has been almost the same since Windows Server 2003 Active Directory. In this video, we will see how we can create user account and how we can manage user account in Windows Server 2016 Active Directory. After installing Domain Controller, creating OU and user account are very first task. In the last video, we just see how we can create OU and in this video, we will see how we can create user account. There are several methods to create user account in Windows Server 2016 Active Directory. You can create user account from Active Directory users and computer snapping. You can use dsadd command line utility. You can use a new AD user PowerShell CM delete. And you can also use Active Directory administrative center. But for this demonstration, we will only use Active Directory users and computer snapping as well as Active Directory administrative center. So first of all, let's open Active Directory Users and Computer Snapping. From Saw Manager, let's click on Tools and select Active Directory Users and Computers. In our last video, we created one OU named OU1 and we want to create a user under OU OU1. Right click on your OU and select New and select User. Now type the user information. In the first box, you have to type user's first name then initial and then last name. Now for this demonstration, I'm going to give a name test user1 and user's login name will be user1 at mylab.local or user's pre-windows 2000 style logo name mylab slash user1. Let's click on next. Now type the password and remember your user's password must meet Active Directory password complexity. Let's specify the password. Now here we have a total 4 options. User must change password at next logon. That will force your user to log in with this password and at the login time he has to set his own password. Now the second one is user cannot change password. And third one is password never expires. By default in Windows Active Directory password will expire at every 42 days. And the fourth one is account is disabled. When you do not want to use your user account, that time you can disable this user account instead of deleting that user account. Let's click on next. Now review the user configuration and then click on finish. So this is our user name test user one. Right click on it and select properties. Now here you can see you have a bunch of settings for your user account. Like from this general screen. You can specify user's first name, last name, display name, description, office, email address, telephone numbers and extras. Let's click on address tab. From this tab, you can specify user's address like the user street, city, state, country and postal code. From this tab, you can change user's logon name or user, you can set user's logon hours, you can set logon restriction, you can unlock user account from this console and here. We can see the same options are here. User must change password at next logon or user cannot change password. Password never expired. And the most important is that account expired. If you have a user in your environment with payroll and if you want to set your payroll user's account will expire after certain days from this console, you can set that. Now here we have a profile tab. In future videos, we will see how we can set up a user's roaming profile. Here we have an organization like remote control, remote desktop service profile and so on. Like we have a dial-in settings for VPN as well. So from these properties, you can set lots of settings for our user account. So right now, leave it to default and let's click on OK. Now we have successfully created one user account. Let's log in with that user account on our client computer. This is the Windows 10 client computer and this computer is a part of our Active Directory domain. So let's sign into this Windows 10 computer using our test user 1. Let's click on other user and here we have to specify user's logon name that is user 1. You can also specify user's UPN or you can specify mylab slash user 1 as a user's login name. Let's specify the password. 
we said user must have to change password at a next logon that's why it will ask you the user's password must be changed before signing let's click on ok and let's set a new password for our test user one now as you can see we are receiving a message your password has been changed let's click on ok to sign in now let's move to our windows server 2016 dc and let's open Active Directory Administrative Center. Let's click on Tools and select Active Directory Administrative Center. Active Directory Administrative Center wizard will open and this will look like the Server Manager dashboard. Here on the left hand side, domains will be available. Let's click on mylab.localdomain. Now these are the, all the containers stored under mylab.localdomain. Now this is the our OU name OU1. We want to create user under OU1. So let's double click on OU1 and here we can see our existing user is there name test user1. Let's create a new user under OU1 and for that let's click on new and select user. Now you have to supply the information to create a user account. Last name will be user2 and user's login name will be user2 let's specify the password now here this is the location where we are creating the OU so this is the distinguished name of our parent container if you want to protect this user account from accidental deletion you can select this checkbox this option is not available in Active Directory users and computer snapping. From this single console, at the time of user creation, you can set logon hours and you can set logon restriction as well. In Active Directory users and computer snapping, you can set all these options once you create a user account. But in Active Directory Administrative Center, you can find all these options while you are creating a user account. Here we can see the options is selected, user must change password at next logon. From this screen, you can set user's organization or you can set a group membership, password settings, profiles. Let's click on OK to create the user account in test user 2 right now. Here we go. This is the user name test user 2. And let's open activity users and computer snapping right on refresh button. Now here we can see we have our user name test user 2. Let's go back to our Windows 10 computer. On, on that computer, we log in as our test user 1. And from this console, you can see we have successfully logged in as a test user 1 on our Windows 10 client computer. So this is the way how we can create user account and with the help of Active Directory Administrative Center and Active Directory Users and Computer Snapping, we can manage our user account. So in the next video, we will see how we can create a user account by using CUI method. That's it for this video demonstration. Thank you for watching this video.